Hey guys, John Yeager here with Poor Taste. My wife Lindsay and I have been invited by Grays on Main in Franklin, Tennessee, which is where I'm at today, uh, to help develop their bar program and design some specialty cocktails for them. So we just want to welcome you to the series where you guys get to see what we're doing behind the bar and uh, give you an opportunity to uh, possibly try this at home. And if it doesn't work, well, then we'll serve you one at Grays. So welcome, and uh, we're excited to share our knowledge with you. Thanks. The first one is called Blood Red and By the Minute, and the reason that I'm really in love with this one is because we are, um, we are shining a light on the world of vermouth and fortified wines. Now what most, people, most people's experience with vermouth and other fortified wines is the fact that they've had uh, basically cooking quality of uh, fortified wine or vermouth, and thus they have thrown it up. So what we have done is we have designed this specific cocktail, this specific recipe, around high quality vermouths, high quality fortified wines, and balanced it in a way uh, to really educate our guests here about what those products can be. Uh, so anyway, so we're gonna do an ounce and a half of Carpano Antica. This is a, an extremely top shelf, old school sweet vermouth. We're gonna do an ounce of Koki Americano Rouge, again, another fortified wine product. We're gonna do an ounce of Pierre Ferrand Dry Curacao. This is an orange liqueur that is, what the name suggests, it's very dry, it's very pale. We're gonna back this up with a quarter of an ounce of Creme de Cassis, which is black currant liqueur. We're also gonna back this up with a quarter of an ounce of one of my favorite bottles on the shelf, which is Viking Blood, Hibiscus mead. Mead is honey wine, uh, the oldest fermented beverage in the world, and we found a way to put it in our cocktail, so we're really excited. So I'm going to do four dashes of orange bitters. I'm also going to do two dashes of Angostura. We're gonna give this a quick stir. We're gonna serve this right into our champagne coupe. Again, we have been given um, a lot of positive feedback on this cocktail. Again, uh, most people's perception about vermouth and fortified wine is not good. It's not positive. And this is just one success story that we have had here at Gray's to say when balanced and when using the right quality of ingredients, you can really get a magical cocktail. Now, before I pour this, what we do here, if you have an opportunity to sit at the bar with us, we're going to spray the champagne coupe with rose water. This just adds to the aromatic quality to the cocktail. Now you can obviously see by the color this is a very luxurious and very deep cocktail. This is great for those of you who think that you like martinis and uh, spirit forward cocktails, though this is actually very light in alcohol content. We finally finished this off with a rose petal garnish. And again, this is blood red by the minute. We hope to see you at Grace.